Um, so we can go, let's go ahead and tap map again. That goes back to the main screen. And I'm going to actually jump straight into the lobby here and we'll show you a Turf Wars match. So you can see what all this fuss is. Actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and tap gear on the screen here. So we can see what we've got equipped. We've got Splattershot Jr., the white headband, the basic tee, and the cream basics. Um, now if you tap this button down here that says ability guide on the bottom, that actually brings up a list of all the possible abilities that are in the game uh, that you can get on your equipment. And you can see, if you just tap one, you can see what it does. It gives you the name and a quick description of what it actually does. So this one, in this case, Special Saver. It says reduce the special gauge decrease after getting splatted. So you can see, if you're ever curious about what an ability does, or if you want to just see what all the ones are that the game has to offer for the gear, you can just go in here to this uh, gear section and then just tap the ability guide. And you can just tap equip gear and it goes back to the main uh, main gear screen. So now you can see on here too, and actually what I'm going to do, I'm just going to tap map section again. I'm actually going to hit the start button in here. You can see on the bottom, it's the start button to go to your equipment. Um, you can actually tap it if you want to. So you can do that. But you could also just do start and it'll take you right in here. Uh, so the reason I wanted to go in here is so you can get a better idea of what is going on here. So you have uh, four sections. You have your weapon section and then three pieces of gear. So you have your head gear, your body gear, and your foot gear, basically. Um, and so each each one has its own, you know, special advantages and disadvantages. Like there's certain abilities that can only be on headgear pieces. There's certain ones that can only be on your shoes, etc. Um, so we'll just go ahead and actually check out the weapon here. And now if I press X, you can see on the screen it says X for info. So I'm going to press X and it pulls up just some basic information about it. Um, so we can see this is the starting weapon. And this is actually a really capable weapon. Um, you know, in a lot of games, like, they're not going to start you off with anything that's really that great, but you can totally just hop right in with this weapon and be pretty good at the game, uh, you know, if you're familiar with shooters or or maybe you're just a really good pers a gamer that, you know, never has any trouble learning really quick. Um, it's not like you have to play dozens of hours before you can you know, build up the right gear to become decent. I mean, it's it's largely you're capable and able to do that right from the start. Um, so we can see here the Splattershot Jr. is a starting weapon and you can see there it says the the sub and the special weapons. So the sub in this case is the Splat Bomb. Uh, we saw that one earlier in the tutorial. So we've got the same sub weapon here. And then the special is called the Bubbler and that's kind of like a shield is basically what that is. Um, it lasts for a couple seconds and I'll show you about specials and when we're actually in a match here. Um, so I'm actually going to hit X again. And then it gives you a little bit of a description here. So it says, you know, uh, it's just flavor text. It's not really that big of a deal, but uh, it says everyone's got to start somewhere. Good rate of fire and efficient ink use to boot. Not the most accurate of weapons, but it sprays ink so wildly that you're bound to hit something. So, and we'll see that here in a minute. And so you can see uh, on the right side there, you can actually rotate again uh, like we could earlier. So you can check out what your inkling looks like here, you squid kid. <laughs> Uh, and same for the gear. Um, so we'll actually just take a look at that real quick too. Uh, actually, before I do that, let's actually go in here and I'm going to hit Y button to test it. So you can see it's on the bottom it says Y and you can test. And it says test out this weapon. And then you can say, yeah, test it. So you can actually do this uh, in the weapon shop before you own a weapon as well. So if you're trying to decide whether or not you want to buy a particular weapon, you can totally just go in there and test it out first um, and see how it plays. Um, so we're going to actually move around here. So we've got our ZR, remember, to actually fire. And here you can see it does have kind of a wild spray to it. If I just hold the button, it goes quite a ways wide when it's spraying, but it's fast. Um, so you duck back in to ink, to, into your own ink to refill your ink quickly. It will refill if you just stand here, or if you're just running around, it will refill on its own, but it's a slower rate of refill. So if you need to refill quickly, you duck back in and it goes real quick. Um, so here we can just see, on top of these little dummies here, you can see numbers, and that basically gives you like a visual indicator of 
how much damage is being done with each shot. Um, so now you'll notice right now in the top right corner it says press the right stick down. Now you can see my inkling's hair right now is going all crazy and he's sparkling. That's a visual indicator that you have your special meter built up. So how that works is when you ink turf on the ground that little blue bar on the top right goes you know fuller and fuller as you ink more turf and then when you ink enough then you get your special filled up. Uh, so this particular weapon has what's known as the bubbler so I'm gonna go ahead and press that it's not gonna show you much here in this test mode because there's nobody to fire at you but if I press the right stick in till it clicks like it was a button then you get your little bubbler shield here. So you can see it drains pretty quickly but while you have that on you're basically invincible to enemy fire so it's very helpful um, it's a very helpful special and one cool thing that you can do is when you have your teammates in a match with you if you use the bubbler and then you touch them while you have the bubbler active it also spreads over to them as well so you can for you know the four or so seconds that the bubbler remains active you can actually if you touch all your rest of your teammates and they all gather around you you can have your whole team be under the protection of the bubbler while it lasts so it's very good for making a push into enemy territory or as a safety button that you need to press when you're about to get splatted or whatever else um, it's just one of many and then we'll, we'll check out some more uh, so one more thing I wanted to check in here real quick is these dummies are a little bit different you see these ones have little shields on them so there's actually an ability in the game called defense up that you can get on your on your gear and since you can have a maximum of three pieces of gear what these dummies are basically showcasing here you can see this one has one shield sticker this one has two this one has three so basically you can tell ones with no stickers on them are like a normal inkling this is how another player would be in a battle so you can see how long it takes roughly to take them out so the one with one shield is like if you had one main defense up ability on your gear so they take perhaps a little bit more in some cases it doesn't look like a little bit more for this particular weapon but it may make a difference um, so we can see with the second one here and then the third one now see the third one definitely took one extra hit so for this particular weapon it only makes a difference if you had three of them on there as your main ability. But that's what that is. So you can test that out too. You can see, okay, well, how much damage does my weapon do against people with one shield, two shields, or three shields for their defense up stats. Um, and then these ones in the back back here are for uh, the big, kind of big enemies that you'll only find in the single player mode. So and you'll notice they'll take a lot more hits than these normal guys here. So these ones, these yellow ones, are like inklings that you'll face off against in battle. And the pink ones are like single player guys, so... So let's see how much longer it takes to take one of these guys out here. Yeah, see, that's way more. Way more shots. But again, you'll really only see those in single player mode. And now that we've been inking all this turf on the ground, now we've got Bubbler Special again. So we can press the right stick in and use our special in a timely manner. Hopefully. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start, hit start and exit out of here. Just to show you how exactly that worked, uh, the test mode. So you can do that again with any weapon uh, from the shop, even before you've purchased it. You can go in there and test it. So we'll just take a quick look at some of the gear that we have for starters here. I'm just going to hit X again to go up the info. So we see here we have Ink Recovery Up is the main ability for the white headband. And then any of those ones with a question mark, uh, those will randomly be chosen. Uh, you just have to wear this equipment. You can see the bar on the bottom there that says 0 out of 1,000. Uh, basically, you wear this equipment into battle and then it will gain some experience points on that bar. 
And once it reaches the 1000 point, it will unlock that first question mark there. Um, so that will then become some other kind of ability as a sub ability. Um, so we can see here, I just press X again to get into some info. Um, the ink recovery up increases the ink tank refill rate while submerged in squid form. So when you're swimming around in your ink as a squid, this ink recovery up ability makes your ink recover even faster than it normally would have. Um, and then you can see there in the question mark, it says unlock this ability by battling and gaining experience while wearing this gear. So, so that's what that one is. Let's take a look at this one. So here's a Splatfest tee. So you can see it has a little Patrick logo on it because we chose Team Patrick here. Um, so that, that's pretty much how it goes. Is whatever you pick, it'll be a little logo of whatever team you picked on there. Uh, but unfortunately, you don't get to keep them, and you have to give them back. To the the, the, the game basically takes them away from you uh, after the Splatfest ends. So, but it's cool. It's something to you know just just enjoy for now while it's there. Um, so the one we have equipped though is this basic tee. So we'll go ahead and check. Uh, oh, and one thing you can see here. This one has three, so I'm just going to hit uh, info on that. So it's got three sub abilities down there. So um, you can notice here, underneath the picture of the basic T, it has a one star, and underneath the picture of the Splatfest T, it has a three star. Uh, so that's basically the rarity, if you will, of the um, of the item in question. So this Splatfest T is a maximum level, which is three, so it has all three possible... Um, sub abilities that you can gain. So if you wear this one long enough, you'll actually gain three sub abilities. Um, now as you play further, there's ways that you can take even these low one star level items and gain all three abilities that you can unlock. But for now, um, that's that's basically how that works. And there's two star ones as well, so they'll they'll have two out of the three. Uh, so that that's just the difference there. Uh, so this one, the basic T we've got a equipped here is uh, the main ability on that is quick respawn so let's head and see what that is so it's a decreases respawn time after getting splatted so when the enemy team splats you you respawn back at your little base circle and we'll definitely see that um, so what this one will do will actually make it so you actually come back a little bit faster so it's a little bit less of a wait time when that does happen and then let's check out the shoes real quick here we've got the cream basics so this one has a special saver, that's the one we checked out earlier. Um, so what that does is it reduces your special gauge decrease after getting splattered. So we saw the special gauge in the test area, and whenever you get splattered by the enemy team, that actually lowers. Um, so it, it lowers the amount, and it's going to depend on the weapon you have equipped. So let's go back over here and check that. So we can see down at the bottom of the section on the right there, it says Special Depletion Medium. So that's actually a really new feature um, at this point in time. That was not part of the game for a long time, but basically now um, what it does is it tells you generally how much this particular weapon set is going to lose its special meter when you get splatted. Um, some of them have light, some of them have heavy. so. The ones with heavy, they'll lose more percentage of their of their special meter, and the ones with light, they'll lose less. Um, so basically, what that special saber will do is make it so when you do get splatted, it will lose uh, a small percentage less than what it normally would have when uh, off of your special bar. So, and this will all make a little bit more sense when we're actually in there checking out some matches. So why don't we just go ahead and do that right now. So as I mentioned, you can tap any of these big buttons here to actually go to any of this stuff that you want, or you can just walk around like I'm doing here. And you can see random Miiverse posts from other players, so that'll happen. Usually, right now, it's just random people, but um, it'll happen with uh, players that you've played with recently. They'll be the ones that end up populating your little area here. So. And then you can actually hit A. You can see the little cursor there saying, hey, press A. <laughs> so you can press A if you want on here. And then you can see what that player was using. You can see their gear and their level, and you can see whatever their post is, and you can hit the Y button to 
yeah, their Meverse posts if you want, if you like what they put on there. Um, so it's just a cool little way to check out some other gear, uh, see what people are, are wearing, see what they they like to use, maybe give you some ideas for some strategies of different gear and different weapons to choose. So stay tuned for part two of this video and we will start taking a look at some Turf War battles.